So here's a quick little example where I've moved a bone around and I've discovered a rogue vertex. And it's really easy, of course, to fix this just by selecting the vertex and using the weight hammer tool. Uh, but now I need to get the bone back into position. And when I undo, unfortunately, that undoes my skin weights as well. And I don't want that. So the more appropriate tool in this case is to use the go to bind pose feature in Maya. But when I click it, nothing happens. Uh, unfortunately, this is a pretty easy feature to break. So stay tuned because I'm going to be going over bind pose in depth, including how to fix issues like this one. So the bind pose, as the name suggests, is just the skeleton remembering what pose it was in when it was skinned. After you bind an object, you can pose the skeleton however you want, then adjust the skin weights however you want, and you should always be able to reset the skeleton back to the original pose by going to skin and go to bind pose. However, there are a couple of situations where you can run into some trouble. In my case, I want to repair some of these roll bones to a better configuration. Now, when I attempt to go to bind pose, it fails. Reparenting joints will unfortunately break the bind pose for those joints. But of course, I don't want to have to reparent these joints every time I want to go to the bind pose. Luckily, we can reset the bind pose to this new configuration with a bit of Python or Mel that we can then put on the shelf or assign to a hotkey. So to do that, let's open the script editor. And the first thing I'm going to do is import maya.cmds. Then we're going to use the dag pose command with the bind pose flag as well as the reset flag. And running that will reset the bind pose on any selected joints, making sure that the bones I want to affect are selected. I'm going to select all of our text and hit Control Enter or Enter on the number pad to run the script. I can move the bone out of place again. And when I go to bind pose, it works this time. Now this is a pretty useful script, so I'm just going to drag it to the shelf real quick. I'll also give it a useful label and a tooltip. Now another way you can break the bind pose is by moving joints using the Move Skin Joints tool or using the shelf button from my Move Joints Mode tutorial. For example, if I move this skin joint here a bit, then try to go to bind pose, it'll actually affect the bone this time, but it puts the bone back to where it was before I moved the joint, which is no longer the proper location. So what I can do if I undo to right after I move the joint, is I can make sure that the joint is selected and hit the reset bind pose button we created earlier. Now I can move the bone and go to the bind pose without any issue. Now bind pose information is stored on a node and we can find that node in the outliner by unchecking the DAG objects only checkbox and filtering for objects that start with bind pose. Notice that even if I skinned a new piece of geometry, that it won't create a new bind pose. As long as the skeleton hasn't moved, new skins will just reuse the existing bind pose. If on the other hand, I move a joint ever so slightly, then delete history and try binding again, you'll see a second bind pose node appear. Now if I go to bind pose with a different piece of geometry selected, it will go to the old bind pose. And if I select our newly skinned object, and run go to bind pose, it will go to the new pose. But if I try to go to bind pose with a joint selected, I'll get an error. This is because it can't figure out which bind pose it should use. Now I'm sure there are cases where you might purposefully want multiple bind poses, but in general, that's not what you want, especially when it happens on accident. Now one annoying thing you should be aware of is that when you delete history or unbind an object that has an extra bind pose node attached to it, it gets left behind. Even though we don't have any skins that use that second bind pose, it's still present in the scene and it won't let us go to bind pose with a joint selected. It's easy enough to delete the extra bind pose node and that puts us back to a single bind pose. Now, if you've created multiple bind poses on accident or are unsure of which bind pose nodes you need to delete or just want to start fresh, you can just delete all of the bind pose nodes, but you'll want to make sure that your existing pose is exactly the pose you want to be the new bind pose. Then you can modify the script we made earlier to save a new bind pose instead of resetting an existing one. 
Then when I run this, we get a fresh new bind pose. This is a great way to just refresh things if you're having problems and aren't sure of what the cause is. So to avoid multiple bind poses in the first place, one thing you might want to do is just in the bind settings, turn off allow multiple bind poses. Now, if I go ahead and unbind this bow tie and offset the skeleton again, like I did before, when I try to bind the bow tie this time, you'll see I get an error. And the reason this happens is because it won't let me bind unless I'm in the original bind pose that I bound my other meshes in. So if I go ahead and bind things in the same pose I was in before, I don't get an error this time and everything works okay. So this just makes sure that whenever you bind a mesh, that you're using the same bind pose as when you bound all of your other meshes. And that's all I have for the bind pose tutorial. Hope that helps you out.